Hey there guys, welcome to California Russian River Bees. I'm your host Antonio. I'm a commercial beekeeper in training, uh, but you know, kind of out of training. I've been doing a lot here, working with a lot of hives over the years, and I'm ready to roll. But we still got some things to do here in this yard, and that's check the hives. For what? For the spring, early spring. So let's get started. All right. Okay, we're gonna open up the first hive here. They're kind of busy and they're heavy a little bit. They're lightening up a little bit here. So they might be running out of resources, but we don't know yet. Here they go, bringing in pollen. As you notice, they have pollen getters. Uh, there's mustard out there and so on. So let's go ahead and get started. Moisture build up, it happens, but I got something for that. I cured that problem. Okay, here we are. You do it real easy, because they will get, man, look at that. Okay, I want to check for the queen and make sure she's not up here, because they do come up, and the cluster's in the middle, and you can see here, we got a lot of bees. Well, they're gonna sting the heck out of me if I bother them. So, I also got old equipment, everybody, and it's kind of a little problem here because if I crack these frames, sometimes they go really bad. Look how they're acting already. So there you have it, huh? But they're not digging me already. So, that's the problem. So, if you notice, we have the the foragers here, and they're still here, so they're flying around me right now. So let's go ahead and uh, get ready to do this. Good stuff, good nutrients. Uh, this is not pollen patties here. They're getting pollen on their own. This is a regular patty with all good nutrients, honey. Uh, they got all good stuff in there. I haven't really looked it up, but you know, sometimes I don't have time. I don't remember everything. But this is it. Only a little bit. And uh, we're going to put that on the bottom. Okay, let's go. Look at that. We don't want to walk away because they're getting aggressive. They get real aggressive because I got the forages in here and I ain't got no smoke. If you notice, I'm not using the smoke. And you got to walk away. And I did treat them. It's their treatment. But they're not liking me right now. So I'm not going to go in. Look how many bees I got already. Oh. what happens so let's go ahead and uh they're not digging me at all so i'm gonna have to uh, when this happens you gotta walk away oh yeah they're gonna be lively look how many bees i got tons of bees and that's the treatment that you see that I gave them. That's the uh, oxalic acid. Still in there. Uh, so, this is stuff I gotta go through without a smoker. So, 
It's gonna be interesting. There's a lot of bees prepping up for the summer already. Okay, they don't like that camera, so I'm gonna get my open. that patty in there there's no need to open up these frames and they're really old and I got old frames in here I might crack them and break them I can't reset them right now and that's what I'm dealing with I need more equipment and more gear and this is what this video is about we're flooded with bees but we can't keep them if they don't you know and they're on me too <laughs> okay let's close this up there's no need to do any more inspection with these girls it's pretty much Lay them on there. Now you want to make sure that you got it all even because this is not even. It'll get water in there and uh, you'll have problems. See the water? And that's what happens when you don't you gotta line them up right. And look how dry they are. But the corners are wet. The box are old. I don't like to even on top. I don't like this stuff. So let me line her up. Got a patty in there. Insulation, there you go. Oh, don't forget. Oh, sorry. You catch beetles, see? That's where the beetles start. They come in here. Yeah. That's the story. Okay. Well, that's the first one we fed them. A lot of bees in here looking good. So we're looking good here. And then we're gonna. We're gonna do it this way. No. Oh. What do you think I'm gonna do? I gotta shake them off. And here we go. Gotta get the girls off here. Yeah, the girls like staying on the boards. Okay, you wanna make sure they get out of here. You don't want them stuck on here. Okay. That's better for them now. They won't really sting me, they know me. They don't like me around their hive right now. You know, they want to get in my jacket. They want to sting me. Oh, wait, we fix this. I hope that didn't mess up our film, but we got plenty more to go. Well. Well, this should do it, but we gotta make sure. No smoker, huh? How about that? You don't need a smoker. You'll smoke your bees and roast them. Nah, I'm just kidding. Sometimes you need it. Well, that's my patty stuff right here that I feed them. And let's move on to the next hive. Oh, this is going to be a, another fun hive here. Go and check this one. It's another one. Ah, they're bringing in pollen too. Everybody's bringing in pollen. Okay. Let's get this one ready. Huh? Another one for another hive. Let's see how this one's on. Ooh, let's see. This one usually has ants in it. I, I got insulation here. I got ahead of the ants a little bit. Oh, let's go here. I hope you guys can see me. Hold on, guys. Oh, edit that part later. Okay, let's open up this. 
Ooh, let's go. Less bees. That's fine. Because we're going to feed them. Starting to make drones already. Oh, we got to get out of here. Okay, look at this. Huh? They're gonna get ready to swarm? Oh, not yet, but they're, they're thinking about it eventually. Well, here they go. They're all pissed at me. They're pissed at the camera and a bunch of stuff that's pissed up. Let me give them some food. There's no need to check this out. Oh, what would it be? So, Oxalic pads I have in here still, they're gonna kill me, they're gonna cream me, they don't want me to get out the way here, brother. So you see they're eating already, I don't want to crush them. You know, they sit there and, you know, I don't know about them sometimes. But they're hungry. They want some nutrition and there you have it. Hope you guys can see through this cold screen. It's a little cool out here. My screen's acting out a little bit. Uh, I'm sorry. I'm trying to... I got one drilling on me. I can hear them on me. They're drilling on me. <laughs> they drill when they really sting you. They, they really drill. They do the whole... It gets you. So that's what it looks like. They're already eating the patty. Got a lot of bees in here. So that's a good sign already. We'll be treating on next time. Right now, we're going to go ahead and put this back and put it up a stroke. <coughs> Ooh, they don't like that. Look at them. Look at them all over the place. They're all over me. Look at this. Look at this. That's what they do. See, I don't smoke my bees, but they'll try to smoke me. Huh? Okay. Right, I'm just kidding. Let's go back. Well, we gotta even out this hive. Don't forget guys, you gotta even it out really well. Because you know, it might rain again. And then uh, you get all that stuff. So this is what she looks like. That's the other hot chip. Let's get out of here. And move on to something better. Okay. Let's curl there. You don't want to crush them and shake them. That one's pretty no. naked. Hold it off. Can't dance on every scene. Man, come on, girl. Come on, girl. Get out of here. Oh, yeah. Come on, See, it's about efficiency and speed. When you deal with hundreds of hives, you gotta have that rhythm down. You gotta have it really good. If you don't, you'll miss the honey production and then they'll swarm on you and then you'll lose all these bees. So I gotta go in these frames, but I can't go in today. I don't have extra frames for them. Uh, I have to dig in, I might have some, but I don't wanna break none. So the, uh, how can I tell you? On the frames themselves, they have the propolis. And they're really, really, propolis is really hard right now. So it's hard to crack them frames. I don't need to. Look at all those bees I got. Oh, one more thing you want to learn. You want to tilt your hive. Tilt it down. Okay? Remember that. You got to tilt these hives. This one's tilted too. Look at it all on the front here. Look at that. Look at that. That's what we call bee production and getting ready remember these are winter bees still going well, let's go to the next one All right. this one here I left uh, a frame of they made a frame of sugar like a candy bar I don't know but they put some up here and I'll show you I don't know if I'm gonna get rid of it if it's no good but let's see what we got let's go in this one next Put the 
foam here because look, look at all the, you get like mold, you know, you don't want that in your hive. So we insulate it, it lasts longer, and uh, the bees love it. Don't forget, I'm by the river, so it gets a little cooler here. Uh, things in the south happen quicker than the north, so I'm just on schedule, I think. So let's, still, let's take a look at this one. Let's go for it. I hope you can see me. I'm trying my best. Oh, we shut to the queen. You never know where she's at. Look at this. It's starting to come up here. A little watery here. This one's got a little condensing, you know, a little bit of water, but they're coming, they're cleaning up the frames in here. They're actually cleaning up ready for the honey production. Look at these are the forages coming out of here. Right here. Oh, I gotta feed them. Let's open this one. What happens? Look at that. They're growing a lot. They're coming on me. Look at this. Ooh, it's great. Boy, they're really riding me. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. All over. You should see me in bigger yards where the bees are all over me. I have tons of them. <sighs> Boy, okay. Sorry I'm moving around a lot. You have to because these bees are. They'll attack me. I mean, I'm in their hive, and they're they're all inside. You know, got to move. They move quick. Look at that. Look, they're disturbed. Look at this. Are oh, they disturbed or what? Now I open this and feed them. Look how mean they are. Look at them. They don't like me in their hive. It's it's kind of chilly. They don't dig it, and they're gonna beat me up. So this hive wasn't that easy. I had to take this out and put the patty in here. I didn't want to crack this open. They really are upset. Uh, I don't know why, but a lot of the foragers are here still. And they just don't want to be bothered. And they're cleaning out these to put in honey. They might be bringing some honey in, I don't know. There's some honey in there, I think. Let's see if they want that. Well, they're cleaning up these frames. I'm gonna go close this up because they're gonna really use this. I had to shoot them a little bit of sugar water to calm them down. And, uh, you know, helped a little bit. <laughs> I like the back. So, let's go back and close her up. Hey, you notice all over me. This is what he was trying to drill me. Uh, that's what happens, you know. They really work at it. Have to let me in here but i'm not taking anything from them so give them a patty they're growing in this hive don't need to crack frames right now i can't do nothing for it anyway i don't have any extra queens or anything be okay uh, well they're calming down now they'll calm down Go to the next one. Okay. This is my original hive I had here for years. They have grown and I've made splits. They're eating some of that patty there. This hive is really growing, so I'm gonna give them some patties. It's a live one too. I might put a medium on here. I don't know.
Okay, let's open up this one here. The next one. Here. Coming out. Coming after me. <laughs> oh, they like me a lot, man. I'm just kidding. So, this is a real old box. It's very old. I mean, it's real old. It's kind of falling apart, you know. But they like it, you know. They don't, they don't mind. As long as they can keep the inside. Look at, look at all of them coming out already. Now, these bees are doing well. You gotta keep the bees alive. It's gonna be interesting cracking this one. I bet you they come flying at me again. Let's check for a queen. Make sure we don't have any queens. If we do, then we're in trouble. Because if we kill a queen now, we're in trouble. I wanna kill. Oh, look at all those bees I got. Ooh, look at that. Enough bees up here to eat some patties, wouldn't you say? I think so. I don't have to crack this one. There's a lot of bees in here. I don't need to open this up for what? So they can get real mad at me. they are. They're not that aggressive over here. Ah, you never know. There's different breeds of bees. Different temperaments. They're not having PTSD right now. There's no PTSD here, wouldn't you say? Look at that. Come on a little bit. Oh, Alright, here you go. Okay, let's see. Alrighty. And there we have it, everyone. We'll go ahead and. Make sure you close these because if you don't, they'll leak. That's a definite, you have to do that. Don't have my scooter yet, not ready. You know, I forgot to clean these out. You gotta clean these out. You gotta clean these out. They got mites in here, not really. If they had mites, it wouldn't be this big of a hive. If there was mites, forget it. They always got mites, you know. They're the viral little bit this year. I treat them and feed them, take care of them. Well, we're going organic soon. We have to. Uh, we'll be using a, a fogger in the future because farmers markets want organic and we're going to have it. So, right now, we're just using our salad for now. Get them through the winter. But Organic honey is where it's at, so that's the story. And that's how we do it. Okay. I think we're good here. They got patty, they've been eating it here too. Look at they've been munching on that. Munchy crunchy, huh? I don't know what they're so busy using today. Okay. We got three more to go. Alright. You see the process. Alright. 
Okay, these are the hives. Uh, well, this hive right here, this one right here was a split from the hive we just came from last year. So this is the split. And as you see, they're still active. We have some dead bees, probably not from this hive. And it happens. Uh, we're gonna open this one up, but we're gonna open this one first. This is another older hive that came out of Sonoma County. Sonoma, so that's what we have here. All right. Let's get this one open. Oh, oh I was hoping to see me. All right. Let's open up this one. What do you think? A lot of bees? Huh? This is weird. Look at this. That's production. That's production. That's real honey production. Under deep rain. Don't forget it really rained out here in the forest. Look at all the trees they have here. You could have imagined what it was like coming down on this, these hives. All these trees. But a real commercial beekeeper or a professional will make sure that they live under those conditions. Is why? Because I care about my bees. And I like what I do, so here we go. This is the proof. When you like what you do, you get these results. And they love it. So, I'm going to give them a patty. But where am I going to give it? I don't want to open this high. Look at all those bees for what? So let's go ahead and feed them. They're on the top. They'll take the food. I know I would. Yeah, it's not going to be. So let's make it. And there's two around this one. Yeah, I'm doing different things. I'm all right out here. You know. All right, let's give them a go. Let's put it out in this. You don't want to crush them, so you want to slide them. If you can. Sometimes they're just hard hit. So, there we have it. They probably got some kilt. Put it pissed off. So. Well, that's a lot of bees, wouldn't you say? There's probably more in here. We don't need to open it up. They're at the top. And uh, what they're doing. And they're on me, too. But well, that's it. That's, that's, this hive has been about, it's about three years old. I think I had a replacement of the queen. They're still producing. It, uh, as long as they produce, you keep the queen. If they don't produce, you replace the queen. And you want to have a backup, you know? So, this is what it looks like. And let's move on. Good. 
Okay, so this one. This is a new hive ready to do honey production. I haven't looked at it in a while, so let's see what we get. This one has a medium and a deep. That's the right setup we're going to have commercially. Deep in a medium, then I stack them. Quicker to get them out, quicker to put them in. We only double stack when we're going to do some splits. You see, I got some double stacks here. But also, when you double stack, you're trying to do a massive honey production. If you have that kind of production in your area, if you don't have that production in your area, you're stacking, you're stacking for nothing. Well, let's go in this one. You guys can see me. Try out that foot. Well, it's pretty deep so far. I go in there. Yeah, I'll put it right here. There's no need to open it. They're, they're growing. I don't want to come out. Don't need to. Don't eat that. If I had replacement frames, I would probably bust these open. But look at the propolis. It's really hard. You just mess them up. See, so. And this is my beetle catcher here. I got two of them. We catch the beetles. Hope you guys can see this. No, oh well. I tried. And that's it for the minute. So let's close it back up. Might smush some bees. I don't know. Okay, so that's the story there. There you have it, huh? There it is. A lot of bees on all my hives. I got one more to do. Look at them grow here. Are they populating a lot? Now this hive was a, not a thriving hive. You have to not give up on your hives, but sometimes you do. Not this one. I didn't do it. I just doubled up and did some good work with them. Make sure they have more bees. I did some equalization. You know, equalization. I have to show on that one day. Right now I'm not equalizing. I don't think I need to, but maybe I do. But at this point, I'm not. So we're going to go in this one next. Once you get a rhythm going, you can just you can really get to these hives. Once you get a rhythm, you gotta know what you're doing, right? You can just get you have a rhythm on them. Takes time. There we go. Bring that up here. I got a, I got a, well, I got an excluder on this one too. I just didn't do it. Uh, you noticed. Okay.
a lot of bees in here too. There's no need to crack this open. <laughs> Let's just let them feed from here. They'll eat it. They won't miss a meal, let me tell you. They're already eating it now. <coughs> Don't need to crack it. You can see the bees. See the bees they're cleaning up the hive. They're probably bringing in some honey. Uh, but we're not enough. So I got to check all this later. Right now, we just make sure they're not starving, okay? I double plastic this one. Look at the trees. They want to come down hard on these hives, you know. I mean, they really do. They come down really hard. There's some water just drips on these hives. But I, I take care of them. And that's what you got to do when you're dealing with a lot of hives. You have to have things kind of even. All the bees should be doing all the same things at the same time, each hive that you have. If you don't, well, you better go check that out. So. That's pretty much it, guys. I want to close this up, wrap this up here, and this video. And it's been a pleasure uh, entertaining you guys. Hope you learned something from this. Check your hives before it's too late. And uh, they're growing. That's the scenario. So, that's it, folks. Well, thanks for watching here at California Russian River Bees, the commercial beekeeper that's hopefully about to grow. We're working on things to make this apiary work better and be more efficient with more bees in more locations. We have four locations. We're hoping that we can get those locations on time. If not, we'll get there. Nothing happens overnight. Rome wasn't built in the night. But this is three years in the workings, everybody. I've got to a point where I'm down at the production side. It took a lot of, you know, bumps in the road, a lot of training. You can do it too. So, from California to where you're at. Thanks for watching. Guys, give me a thumbs up if you can, if you like this video. It does help my channel. We're trying to grow, but we only can grow as much bees that we have. Right now, we're small time, but we're working our way up. Uh, there's some great things that are gonna be happening. You know, stay tuned for it. And I'm still learning how to talk in this on YouTube, so sorry about that. I'm more of a beekeeper than a commercial, uh, you know, advertising and uh, marketing genius. I don't even call it, but I'm a real beekeeper. I'm trying to get this done first. Yes, we do video, but we'll get there. So thanks again for watching, and you make it a great day. And save those bees and eat some real honey. You know what I mean. Take care.